This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome and uh, this is an announcement for a uh, new Kubernetes batch uh, in English going to start from November 21st and all this information is available all the meeting information is available under the description of this video. So <clears throat> I'm going to start a new uh, Kubernetes certified administrator batch and that is from uh, November 21st uh, just coming in another 10 more days and the duration of the batch is uh, two and a half month and the timings will be every day in the evening uh, on Saturday Sunday uh, or it will be like uh, 7 30 to 9 30 sorry so it will be 7 30 to 9 30 and <clears throat> and Tuesday and Thursday it will be 7 30 to 8 30 one hour so totally we're going to have the class of uh, <clears throat> almost like uh, six hours per week and it is going to take two and a half months to complete okay and it is an English language requires for this one will be should have a a uh, good understanding on uh, Linux as well as AWS and Azure, by the way. So I'm going to say Linux and AWS or Azure. Now the fee for this one will be 12,000 folks and uh, it can be payable in uh, 2 into 6,000. That is two halves actually. And you can actually reach me on the following email address and this is my WhatsApp number and the hardware you need to have a good internet connection and a 4GB laptop and also you need to have AWS account uh, <coughs> for the uh, creation of the KTS cluster. Uh, this is a meeting details, but let's understand what is the syllabus we're going to cover. Now, this is a completely <clears throat> concentrating on Kubernetes, but at the end, I'm going to give you an overview about uh, about even Python as well, just an overview. So, if you see, it's I call this DevOps phase two. Uh, the DevOps phase one is a different course actually, and here you can see we're going to uh, and uh, we're going to give an introduction of Docker and Kubernetes. We're going to understand what is the runtime environments, how to deal with the YAML files, how to deal with the Docker, how to build the images basically. And we're going to understand the Kubernetes architecture. What are the different components which makes Kubernetes and what are the advantages and disadvantages using the Kubernetes? And then we're also going to deploy a production glaze cluster on COPS. I'm going to show you even cube admin as well, uh, but we're going to do use a lots of COPS actually to put our cluster. And then from there, we're going to talk about uh, pods and deployments here. So understanding how the uh, how the pods will work, why we need to deployments, why we don't really deploy the pods, what are the disadvantages of deploying only the pods, and then <clears throat> we're going to. Uh, we're going to create, talk about like uh, Kubernetes services. We want to understand what are the different types of uh, services and I'm going to show you how we can use the AWS load balancers as well with this one and I'll try to give an overview about even the AKS how to do that one and we also talk about like Kubernetes advanced scheduling like uh, talking about how you control the pod uh, <clears throat> the pod allocation on a particular node or you don't want to be on that node using labels we're going to talk about like uh, labels and annotations we're going to talk about that uh, taints and uh, <clears throat> node skeleton node selectors and we're going to talk about like node affinity anti affinity pod affinity and pod anti affinity and we're also going to dig into uh, storage for Kubernetes using like the default volumes and we're going to talk about persistence volumes and persistence and volume claims <clears throat> claims and also dynamic storage as well and I, i'm going to integrate the kubernetes uh, with uh, efs storage uh, aws efs is there which is in network storage we're going to integrate that one and here we're going to come and discuss about configs and secrets so how, how configuration how can be saved in uh, Kubernetes and how the sensitive data can be converted into secrets how we can actually mount it as volumes or mount it as secrets We can do the as environment variables. We're going to look into that And we're also going to talk about role-based access control and uh, how you're going to provide access to your Kubernetes And we're also going to understand about the how different types of uh, deployments in here and we're going to discuss about like um, how you how you troubleshoot and uh, upgrade the kubernetes clusters here how exactly uh we're able to find the logs as well as we're going to troubleshoot uh and how we can perform the rolling updates without any downtime and here we also have monitoring and logging cluster so we're going to understand how we can able to <clears throat> work with logs and we can how we can copy the logs how we can back up the cluster restore the cluster and i also go you give you a, a good introduction as well as like we're going to discuss about azure kubernetes service which is a managed kubernetes service and we're going to deploy the cluster we're going to understand what the rbag what are the different types of networks available how we can do a ca cd from azure devops and we're also going to talk about like how we can integrate application gateway and uh, Azure Fireball by the way. Okay. Next, <clears throat> going next, and also give you an overview about 
Elastic Kubernetes services from AWS. And we also have some additional things here, Helm Package Manager, Jenkins, and I'm going to talk about like uh, uh, how exactly the Kubernetes certification will be. So we're going to discuss on that one. Apart from that, I also go give you like a, like a four to five classes of um, Python programming. So uh, just to give an introduction about how Python works, what are the what are the different types of variables as well as data structures in Python, uh, what are the different types of operators as well as like uh, loops and conditions and how the functions and exceptions in, and uh, classes. So it's just like not like a, uh, a, a deep dive into the Python, but just overview about how Python works. So this is the total <clears throat> total uh, syllabus structure, guys. So uh, uh, once you complete this course, you will be able to take up the certificate very easily and uh, you will be a guy or you will be a person who knows uh, kubernetes and python good okay again i'm repeating it is uh, starting from 21st of november and uh, that will be 7 30 in the evening to 9 30 on saturday and sunday on weekdays it will be 7 30 to 8 30 and we can see it is two and a half months and uh, you can see it is in english the prerequisite will be uh, linux as well as uh, you need to have definitely have linux and uh, aws or azure and you also have the fees is 12,000 as you see and you can always whatsapp me and this is the meeting detail You just need to copy this and uh, paste by November 21st 730 and you're going to join into the cluster Sorry, you are joined to the meeting Thank you so much for watching uh, See you and the training and uh, bye folks